Of all the traits that the winner's edge encompasses, you'd have to say that winners persevere. They're just out there over and over again, and they don't know the meaning of rejection. Rejection to them is target correction. It's a learning experience. It's a temporary inconvenience. Failure is a detour, not a dead end. Perseverance is the key. You can believe you deserve to win. You can feel that you determine your results. You can feel incredibly motivated and inspired. And you can practice. But unless you put in the perseverance in actual effort, all the training in the world won't help you unless you hang in there when the going gets tough. And that's why most of the people I know who are successful have been comfortable with failure. Failure's fertilizer. It stinks, <laughs> but it sure grows green people. And failure really helps you understand that if you've been out there a number of times, you're going to lose some and win some. When you stop to think of it, quarterbacks only complete half of their passes. Basketball players, a little over half of their shots. Oil well diggers only have one in five wells in the stock market, only one out of four or five. And actors and actresses who are trying out for a part only get about one in 20. But perseverance helps you get through the rejection and get you to the goal that you have. And that's why this key of staying with the program of mental toughness really makes all the difference in the world. I think of the people who've been rejected. And it's, it's an incredible thing to understand. Jacques Cousteau, for example, wanted to be an astronaut, but he broke both arms. And because his arms were broken, he couldn't go to the French Naval Academy and then become an astronaut. So he swam out the failure of the broken arms. And as he began to swim, he thought about going under and become an aquanaut instead of an astronaut. He got himself some goggles and swim fins. He swam first in the lake and then in the ocean. And in the lake, he saw that mother water spider. If you've ever seen a water spider, she has a bubble of air between her legs. And she takes that bubble of air down underneath the branch that has fallen into the lake. And she puts the bubble underneath so her little baby spiders can breathe underwater. And he thought, Wow, I've had these broken arms. I can't become an astronaut. I could become an aquanaut if I could breathe underwater. What would help me breathe underwater? An aqua lung. I could put a bubble on my back and breathe underwater, and then I could really become an aquanaut, an astronaut in the inner space. You will find that at your lowest point in life, when things are going all against you, that that's the time when you reach deep inside to pull out of yourself the best you can be. Think about it. When things are going well, you coast. When things are not going well, that's when you really hunker down and reach deep inside yourself to be successful.